first number was so much fun and it was just a such a with a show where we have to form this like strong strong camaraderie right off the bat it's kind of just the perfect number well you know a lot of times when you're doing eight shows a week you're you're tired you're fatigued you have to get yourself ready for each show and that like just would slingshot us right back into shape every night There was a there was that moment where we're all changing where Birdlace has like a solo where he kind of like uh, yeah. projects his inner monologue and that initially wasn't in the 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 version but they were like this is what you're singing there and we'd like to put it in tonight do you think you can do that and I was like I was like twenty that was twenty years old I was like uh, yeah but I mean Ben and Justin are asking so I'm like yeah I mean and Joe Mantello was like yeah you could do it you could do it. And then so the, I remember that first night it went in, I was just like staring at the back wall, trying to remember all the lyrics as I'm putting on my clothes. It was the most terrifying thing, but I made it through. And then uh, once I got over that hurdle, I was like, all right, it's in me now, I got it. So I actually got to read with Lindsay and a couple of other uh, roses in their final callback. And, you know, immediately she kind of like stole the room and was fantastic. And it was super exciting. And reading with her in her final callback, it was crazy. And she was so kind and wonderful. And then when, once once I found out that she had booked the role, we like scheduled a dinner after her or in between one of her performances. And we, we got dinner just to kind of know each other before we started. We started this thing and um, we were we were teammates the whole time. Joe just kind of was like, all right, this is the stage. This is how the diner is going to be vaguely set up. Do whatever feels naturally. When you enter through this door, her mom's gonna be there, you ask for coffee from there, she's gonna be sitting over there and just kind of go with it and we'll see what happens. And then of course, like week three, once we kind of got through and you go back and like rework it all again, I got one word into the diner scene and Joe was like, whoa, 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 Derek, what are you doing? And I was like, what, what do you mean? And he's like, like, what are you, what are you even asking for right now? And I was like, I'm asking for coffee and he's like, didn't seem like you really wanted coffee. So we felt like we were in the twilight zone because all of a sudden Joe flipped the switch and he was like, okay, this is how we're gonna work moving forward. Now that we have the framework, now that you can feel comfortable in that, now we have to really, really refine it and be as specific as possible. So he's, he's amazing, super supportive. And uh, it, was, it was like one giant like acting boot camp. It was, it was, it was awesome. <laughs> There's no better feeling when you're an actor and when like you, the scene just kind of flows and you don't really have to push and pull much. It kind of just happens. I can't really explain it, but like it was just one of those scenes where the momentum of it and the cadence of it, everything kind of synced up. It was like a beautiful sequence. 
that never really ended. So we were able to kind of gain a new type of momentum coming out of intermission um, that kind of like supported the rest of their journey through the show. Blank slate, blank stare. Yeah, you made her cry, why do you care? What took hold? Look at her, she looks so cold. moment a lot of like fun uh, it was like it's definitely like a tug of war every scene no i i, lo I loved it i just lo i love that sequence it was so rewarding and um and uh, very very fun first date last night not quite what you pictured